Hi guys, I'm Brian and welcome to the Macaulay's Design Workshop. Today I've got a fun project that's something that we've been needing around our house. It is a device charging station. Um, this particular one holds four different phones and charges four different phones at one time. And it's got one cable coming out the back that plugs into the wall so you don't have to have four different cables plugging into your outlets. All the cords are contained inside of it and they just plug right into it. There's two in this front tier and two in the back tier. While I was at it, I went ahead and made one for our tablets as well. So, if you'd like to see how I built this guy, stick around. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my chunk of wood and round over all the corners on my disc sander. Next step is to cut off the bottom. And I'm using my dado blade tilted to 10 degrees here to start cutting out the area where the phones are going to sit. The front dado is cut deeper than the back dado to create a sort of two-tiered effect. So the, bat, the phones in the back will sit higher than the ones in the front. And then we'll switch back to our regular blade and cut those off so that we'll be able to see the phones when it's in the dock. Next we'll screw and countersink some holes for screws that we'll hold the bottom on. And now that we know where the screws are going to go, we'll take the bottom back off. Now I'm going to roughly mark out the area that I can hollow to allow room for all the cables that are going to be inside this thing. And with that area marked out, I'm just going to freehand it with my router and start removing all that material. Now I'm marking out uh, the back section of the charging station so that when I continue to go deeper, I don't blow out the front where I cut those dados. Now with it all hollowed out, I'll just clean up the rough edges with some sandpaper. I've laid out where the charger is going to come through the station at. Here's the center of the station and uh, the center of the center. Essentially I divided it into four equal sections. And these outside lines represent where the charger is going to come up through the base. So we'll get ready to drill those holes next. I've got my drill press table tilted to 10 degrees to match the angle of the dados that we cut earlier. And I'm just drilling the holes large enough to fit the end of the charger that's going to stick through them. Now we'll put the bottom on and drill a hole for the cord to come out the back of it. And with all the building done, essentially, uh, I'm going to sand it to 220 grit. Okay, so with all that done, it's time to epoxy in the charging cables. <clears throat> so to do this, I'm just using a two-part epoxy. I've got some mixed up here, and I've let it harden just a little bit that way I don't have to hold this cable in here for too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the cable into one of the holes and let it stick out here just a little bit. Then I'm going to come in from underneath and start spreading the epoxy around inside the hole where the charging cable is going to sit. And you want to put the cable in first, that way you're not running it 
through all the epoxy and getting it on the part that actually plugs into the phone because then your cable won't work. So with the epoxy in, I'm going to pull the cable back through, being very careful not to get any epoxy on the metal part of it. And I'm going to make sure that it's lined up just right. And then once that epoxy hardens just a little bit, I'll hold it exactly where I want it, and then I'll come back through and I'll, I'll put some more epoxy on it. So this is what it looks like once everything is epoxied in. So now, I went ahead and I tested them all. They all charge phones. So now let's make sure that we can still put the bottom on. Okay, so the very last step is to plug everything into the four port USB hub. Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit of a tight fit, so hopefully I can get everything in here. And it looks like we can. Just wrap this cord around the back. And attach this bottom for the last time. I suppose if you wanted to, you could glue the bottom on, but I figured that it might be a good idea to have access to the cables in there in case the USB hub stops working or, I don't know, it catches on fire or something like that. So I guess if you wanted to, you could glue it on and not really worry about all these screws. Well, that's it. That's uh, how I built the four device charging station. This one is for our iPhones and this one's for our iPads, but you could make these uh, to fit really any device. So if you like this build, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.